Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who is alive, a God who is working in our behalf, a God who loves us and deserves all of our praise. Praise God for that. Our word of encouragement comes from Psalm 150, and it says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I think of these words, it really is true, is, is, you know, all that God has done for us deserves our praise. Uh, everything he's done up until this point. And yet we know we're going to praise him today and we're going to praise him tomorrow and the day after that because he continues to do things. Um, you know, we serve the one true living God. Uh, other people serve a false God. Other people serve a God that doesn't exist. You know, they make idols. Of, uh, and, and another part of the psalm says, you know, the idols have eyes but cannot see and they have ears but cannot hear. And they, they make these basically man-made images that they worship or uh, sacrifice to or all these things. Uh, and yet we serve a living God. We serve a God who is active, who has not only created us, uh, but he sustains us. He watches over us. He blesses us. And yes, I know that at times we don't understand why things happen the way they do. I understand that, that there's times that we question uh, why evil happens, uh, why God allows evil to happen. Uh, and yet we live in this world that, that God has given mankind his own choice. Uh, we have our choices. We can make the choices we want. It's called uh, free will. Uh, and it's a great thing to have. It's great because it means that if we are in a relationship with God, it's not because we have to, it's because we choose to. Uh, but that's the ticket to heaven, is choosing to be in a relationship with the holy God. It's choosing to do it his way. Um, there may be things that we think, well, hey, that's not that bad. What well, you know, if God says this is not good, then we shouldn't do it. Instead, let's focus on praising God. Instead, let's focus on how do we bring him honor and glory. Um, you know, hopefully if you're in a re relationship uh, like a marriage um, or even, you know, just a committed relationship, hopefully you're looking for ways to honor your other half, uh, to, to lift them up. Uh, yes, I know sometimes we tease, uh, try to playfully tease and, and things like that. But honestly, our role uh, is to build the other person up and to lift them up and to love them and, um, and you know, make them better because we're in their life. Um, and, and in a sense, I think our, that should be our role when we think of God is how do we lift up God? How do we uh, not make him better because he can't be any better than he is, but how do we show him to be better in other people's eyes? How do we share with people how great he is so that they can understand and have that same relationship with him? Um, and that really comes from praising God for what he's doing. Um, you know, we want to God to know that we love him and we want God to understand how much we appreciate him. And so we praise him and we want others to love him and others to know uh, how much we uh, appreciate him. And so we, again, praise him. And that's what it's all about is we want to praise God as his people. So today, I hope you find yourself praising God. Whatever's going on in your life, I hope that you can look and, and give God the praise for it and the glory and, and hopefully share that with others. Uh, God loves you and we want to show his, our love for him back by just loving one another as well. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you for being the God that you are. We do give you all praise and glory. In fact, we know we can't give you uh, enough praise that in our humanness, our praise falls short. But Lord, please accept our praise through you as our love for you. And Father, we pray that you would use us now, use our lives to reach out to others, and may you receive all the glory. Father, thank you for all that you're about to do this beautiful day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, you have it. God loves you. God deserves all your praise. I hope your heart is full of praise today and you share it with others. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow.